this video we will demonstrate to you how to read um, a sediment erosion table uh, rod uh, type instrument. Um, once you've fixed the SET uh, bar and instrument on top of the mount, the arm of the rod SET gets um, attached to the vertically um, inserted mount and as you can see here it gets uh, leveled with a spirit level that sits on the top of the arm there's a screw at the side that you can um, adjust to get the arm level so as explained here um, there is an adjustment for up and down movement of the bar and there is an adjustment for um, a screw which you can loosen and tighten to get the adjustment in the other plane to get the arm completely level. What you can see now is the SET pins which are being inserted into this arm and there's a total of nine pins which are placed at regular intervals along this bar and um, as uh, is nicely demonstrated here they get pushed through the holes of the bar and you can see the little clips that prevent the pins from dropping through the bar. This is really important um, because uh, if the pins drop through the bar, they will perforate the ground and actually put a little indentation in the marsh surface, which you don't want. So the pins all get inserted here, um, all nine of them, held by the little clips. You check the alignment again, check the level again, um, and make any fine adjustments and then very carefully, pin by pin, the pin is lowered to the ground um, until it rests just above the marsh surface without really exerting any pressure on the surface at all. So sometimes it's necessary to move the vegetation out of the way just very slightly and carefully um, until you've placed the pin on the marsh surface. This can take a little bit of time, um, specifically when you have vegetation that's a little bit more shrubby um, and where you have a layer of uh, mulch or a layer of um, plant material on the ground. So what is being demonstrated here is um, the very careful recording of the surface elevation at the first time point of a series of measurements that will be done over um, the next few years. Um, so what you can see here is um, the reading of the height of each pin above the completely horizontal SET bar. Uh, you need to look, obviously record the location of the SET uh, station and then you record the um, orientation of the bar around the station and each pin is also numbered away from the centre um, and the numbering goes from 1 to 9 and each pin then um, has a measurement associated with it which is millimetre accurate. The units are recorded in millimetres. Once that measurement at that location or orientation is finished, the bar gets moved to another orientation. So you might decide to do a reading facing south, a reading facing west, north and east. And for each orientation, the procedure is then repeated with each pin being carefully lowered into the ground you can see here that sometimes the vegetation really does need to be moved away um, and then it's best to use a stainless steel ruler for measuring the height of each pin above the bar but it's easy to achieve millimeter accuracy and you can always get another operator to do the same to convince yourself that um, the operator error here is minimal provided that each operator takes great care to level the spirit level with the um, adjustments of the screws in the centre of the instrument. After the measurements are taken, each uh, pin is then raised uh, above with the 
um, little clips and then the whole of the bar is lifted up, rotated and slotted into the next orientation slot. It's common practice to position the bar in about four uh, quarters around the central rod so that you end up with four measurements of nine pins or four um, sets of measurements of nine at each uh, bar location. Those measurements can then be averaged per orientation. So you might have nine measurements in the north, west and east orientation, uh, which gives you an average and a standard deviation. They can also be used to give you um, a cross-sectional surface elevation measurement along the length of the bar at the top. And by returning after a year, um, or at regular intervals, perhaps seasonally or six monthly, depending on your surface sediment deposition and accretion rates. You can then get an idea of the elevation change at each of these positions at a very high location of precision, but also a very high elevation of change precision because each of the pins will then change its height above the bar.